friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of SCP Containment Breach, the Ultimate Edition mod. I'm Devo of Lost Time Gaming. Thank you for joining me once again. We are stepping back into the shoes of D9341, who apparently used to work here. And uh, hopefully we've made progress at this point. Now, this save is before we rang the bell, because the bell didn't appear to do anything uh, right up the door. I was expecting us to kill us to it to kill us, but it didn't. So we're just gonna leave it be because it's just. What the heck was that? Nothing. Okay, good. Well, there we go. Get over the steps. Some stones. And I believe we looked at this last time, and it's a whole lot of nothing. Um. Yeah, I think I think we looked at that already. We'll just leave that there. So now, hopefully we can make us some progress, and by progress I mean get the heck out of here. What we have here? The coffin. Okay. That one I definitely don't know off the top of my head. Observation room. Cool. Well, oh. Well, that's clearly bad. Oh, mm-hmm. You just screwed us over, didn't you? You, you did. Well, oh, you're gone. Lovely, cool. Now we can actually read this. 895. Description. SCP-895 is an ornate oak coffin recovered from the redacted mortuary by SCP personnel, SCP personnel on redacted oak lock, following reports of unusual footage captured by surveillance equipment installed at that location. Upon attempting to open SCP-895, agents on location found the object empty. However, observers viewing the live camera feed were data expunged. Until further notice, SCP-895 must remain closed at all times. SCP-895 causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters. Similar to vivid, disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to SCP-895. Within a range of 5 meters from SCP-895, footage captured can cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria in most subjects. These disruptions do not extend to observers physically present within the area. Wow, so that's weird. So, it messes with you, but... What is this? Oh, this is the bell. We don't need that. It messes with you, but only if you're looking at it through a camera? Alright, well... Let's save it here. And then I guess we'll... Let's take a look at this. Mmm, drink it in. What is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. What the? What? What happened? Oh, am I alright? No, I'm not alright. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. Oh. What we know is that he died of cardiac arrest. My guess is that it was caused by SCP-895, although it has never been observed affecting video equipment from this far before. Further testing is needed to determine whether SCP-895's red zone is increasing. Cool. So yeah, that's bad, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut this off. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you can stay here. You look at that. I'm leaving. I highly doubt there's anything of any use to anyone back there. Lock him in there forever. There you go. You can stay with the camera. Hopefully this opens. Okay, good. It does. What's behind door number two? Oh, it's 049! Why 049? <laughs> An active instance of SCP-049-2 was discovered and data redacted. Terminated by Nine-Tailed Fox. Okay. 049 is everywhere. Everywhere. Let's try this again. Don't be there. Just don't do it. No, I turned around too fast. <laughs> My cure is most effective. I'm sure it is. Well, this is a real pickle, isn't it? Okay, if I don't get it this time, I'll uh, I'll cut back to when I pull this off, because I'm going to have to give him the old rope-a-dope in the hallway here to get past him, I, I think. 
maybe drag him into the bell room. That might be a good place for me to get past him. Oh, and there's... What's that? 096 in there with him? What? 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 I, I don't like it. Okay. Uh, mannequin friend, I, I need him to... I need to try and drag him... Oh man, this is just bad news. This is just bad news bears. They coming? Sounds like he's coming. Oh no. Oh, I saw 096's face. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Well, ain't this just an SOB? Oh, man. I think I'm just gonna have to give this another try. There we go. <laughs> there was... I don't think there was any way we were undoing that. Large amount of blood found in data redacted. DNA identified as subject D9341. Most likely redacted by SOB96. Okay. That's... that's great. Why? Why is this so insanely difficult? You know, we're gonna go down here and make sure there's no other way out down here. I don't think there is, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look. This boy, boy howdy, are we running out of options? Oh, there's the coffin. Oh, hi. Is that a level three card? Man, we don't need that. Is that night vision goggles? Yeah, we don't need that. So this would have been worth coming down if we, uh, we needed a card or goggles. What? Oh, crap! Was that a nine-tailed fox? That's probably not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Okay, let's, um... Let's give this another try, then. Yeah, I can't believe how prescient 049 is. No, you're right there, and so is 096. Okay. Alright, that's bad. Well, I guess, you know what, I'll be back once I figure out something, because this is just not working. Okay. I think it might be good. Might be good. I'm gonna save it. Okay. So we managed to get back into the area. We had to go down an elevator and come back. But we managed to lose 049. Which is good. Omega Warhead Silo. Ooh. That's solid. Let's go in here. No, you you stay out here. Nobody wants you anyway. Well, you're dead. Can we get down this elevator? Yes, we can. Alright, so, yeah. <laughs> that took a little bit of backtrack, and I realized that there really is no way for me to go back. Because we found our way here through the 106's pocket dimension. So we're kind of SOL. I may be wrong on that, obviously. I'm not a... I'm not the scientist in this regard, but... Remote detonation will make a warhead. Remote detonation. Why are these off? What's this? Is that ballistic vest? Put on the vest and feel slightly encumbered. Okay. What we got here? What's this jazz? Ooh, modular site project. A proposition for nuclear device placement. The Alpha Warheads. Page 10. Four one kiloton hydrogen bombs designed to demolish the area above the facility without causing major damage to the underground parts. The Blast Shield. Oh, okay, cool. Designed to protect the facility in the event of an Alpha Warhead detonation. The Omega Warhead, page 4. A 5 megaton hydrogen bomb designed to demolish everything within a 5 mile radius, including the facility. Detonation requires O5 level authorization. Okay, can we detonate that Omega Warhead? I feel like we're there. I don't know. 
I guess I guess we're just here to shut those off. I, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything else to do down here. Yes, I see you. Hi. How how are you? Thank you for playing. Yep, nothing else to do down here. Well, I disabled the nukes. That's good. Although at this point I feel like no, just hit the omega, nuke the nuke the facility here. This is uh I don't think there's anyone left alive. You know, there's nine-tailed fox in the facility, but that's it. And it's an MTF. They can you can always get more MTF. Save it. I don't like that noise. I don't like whatever that was. Isolated incident. 009. Self-replicating object. Oh, hi. I don't know what that is, but let's take a look. We just saved it. We're solid. What we got here? Some ice? Yep. Feel a burning pain in your left leg. Okay, well, that's bad. Is that it? Why is there a door just leading to nothing there? That's probably not good. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that was it. Let's stand on this ice some more. Ah, this is, this is some nice red ice. This is lovely. Oh, I'm bleeding. Is that 173? And I hear 049. Why are you so active? Oh, yeah, that's me bleeding some more. Okay, good. I'm turning into ice. Like, I think. No? Well, we're bleeding pretty heavily. Let's, let's see if we can't... Oh, can't, we're bleeding so heavily we can't climb the stairs. There we go. Ah! There, that's the spice. Two crystallized Class D subjects was found by the maintenance team's dispatch to repair SCP-009's containment chamber. The body is currently unidentifiable due to massive damage caused by the substance. So we we turned into a pink icicle and died. Lovely. I believe I've I've read that one before, but I don't know specifically what it does. Hi, how you doing? Oh four nine, you better not be up here again. I don't have time for your your madness. No. Ah, crap. I sense the disease in you. What happened? I don't... What the heck was that? 966? Ah, uh, I don't... Uh, I don't like that. I don't even know what that is. Sounds like 049's back there, so we're not going to open that. If we... What? What the heck was that? Is this... Is this not open? Okay. Well then, let's say hello to 049. Nope. Neither are you. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna help anybody. Ah, there we go. That works. I'm not... I don't know why that worked, but... Light containment zone. Can we get out of the heavy containment zone? I'd appreciate that. I'd really appreciate us leaving the heavy containment zone. Oh, there was the the bear. He's he's gone now. Okay, let's let's save. Cause I don't think 049 can open that. Oh man. We're back towards like the beginning area now. Excellent. Still having a hard time turning left for some reason. The turning is very, very not good now. P three seven two sentient object. Well, let's take a look at that. Oh, this is the thing I think that can torque the camera around. If I remember correctly, what what did I pick up here? Double O nine. Oh, okay. This was the the ice. SCP-009 is approximately 3,700 liters of a substance which exhibits a number of unique properties. On mass, it takes on a diameter, a distinct deep red hue. It is most notable property is the fact that SCP-009's reaction to temperature extremes is exactly opposite that of a standard H2O. 
The subject assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between negative 100 Celsius and 0 Celsius and converts into a solid state when above those temperatures. At temperatures below negative 100 degrees Celsius, SCP-009 vaporizes into a gaseous phase similar to steam. Examinations of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. Tests indicate that the subject is composed of the same combination of hydrogen and oxygen as normal water, leaving researchers to speculate that the source of the subject's abnormalities may be the atoms themselves. Dr. Redacted has suggested that the subject may have originated in or been altered by another reality in which the laws of physics are inverted. This theory may have some merit in the light of SCP-009's marked ability to assimilate natural water into its mass. If placed in physical contact with any aqueous solution, SCP-009 will spread and contaminate any H2O in said solution, causing it to exhibit the subject's properties. If the subject comes in contact with any biological source of heat, it begins a runaway reaction in which the living organism's bodily fluids are rapidly converted to SCP-009 and promptly frozen by their own body. Oh, so that's what happened. Lovely. Ooh, what we got here? The radio? Sweet. Oh, don't have any more room for nets. And there. That's good. We don't need that. Ah. That's soothing. Wait, I didn't, I didn't... I got an achievement for seeing something. I didn't see anything. Nothing there. Man, oh. I wish we still had some of that 420J. It was so awesome. <laughs> you still keep a plant somewhere, man. Hey, man. What if we gave some 420J to that freaky statue thing? Why? He's, like, already stoned. Oh man, that's that's great. Thank you. I assume that's not until Fox just having a having a chuckle at our expense here. Oh, I saw something that time. What the heck was that? Okay. Yep, that's good. Thank you. I'm glad we picked that up. Hey, how you doing? All right. So yeah, here we are. Description SCP-372 is a creature of unknown genus, approximately 2 meters long from head to tail, weighing approximately 45 kilograms. It has a long, thin body, with 8 pairs of narrow limbs. Analysis has shown that its muscle fibers are redacted, allowing for extremely fast and precise movements. Every part of the body is abnormally flexible, and the limbs are coated with small fibers that cling to almost any solid surface. In place of eyes or ears, it has data expunged. This sensory organ is capable not only of echolocation, but also of detecting energy transfers, such as the electrical impulses in the brains of nearby beings. SCP-372 has learned to time its movements to those pulses, predicting the movements of any being around it. It uses this technique to hide, either by hiding behind the head of a person looking for it, or by hiding in their scotomas and cicades... Cicades? Flipping during eye movement. 9901. 9901, is that a, is that a code? Oh no, that's 173. No, not on my watch. Okay, so there were, there was a four digit code there. Maybe we can use that, that would be cool. All right, I'm gonna save it. Right after I blink, just in case uh, 173 is hiding somewhere, okay. All right, so now we have a four digit code. That may or may not be handy. Medical bay, huh? Can we get in there? What we got in here? Oh, well, some. What? Uh, I don't. I don't like that. That's bad. Not carry any more items. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Um. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna need the radio. What's the hypo for? You injected yourself with the syringe. What? Why? Oh, that seems to have given me, uh... Ooh, yeah, that, that's given me run, apparently. Not if you were dead. No, not that. Oh, you're a zombie. Oh, hi. Thankfully, my good friend, Mannequin. Okay, well... Ow. Yeah, well, I... Might as well kill me, because I'm not getting out of this alive. Yep, thank you. Uh-huh. Yes, that's... 
That is that is great. Thank you for that. Was that one of 049's? Subject E9341. Cause of death, multiple lacerations, severe blunt force trauma caused by an instance of SCP-008-2. Oh no, that was the virus. The the virus we did a couple of episodes that we sealed back in that we needed the uh, containment, the, the hazmat suit to get into the room for. It, it was a zombie virus. So, okay, well, that's great. We died via zombie there. You, you sit in the wall and think about what you've done. The answer is a lots of terrible things. Oh, no, I want to pop back into that medical room and get the get at least one of those syringes. Because those are those are good. Those are good and good for you. There we go. And just back away slowly. All right. Nope. I'm not looking at you, mannequin friend. I know you're there. And we're gonna pop one of these syringes. Cause I... Oh, you know what? We could stop by and look at this real quick. Another, another SCP to knock off the list. This one's pretty horrible too. What? Oh, it's... It's pulling me towards it. I'm, I'm not controlling this anymore. Trying to look away and walk away. Not letting me. Oh. Oh, 409 has found his way into the light containment zone. Good. Let's take a look at this, uh, you know. I, I have to finish it. Yeah, I have to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Start pushing nails into your wrist, drawing blood. Yeah, this is one of the terrible SCPs. Oh, there was the thing we let out before. 372, I think it was. I think I can do this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You got it. Just, you tear open your left wrist and start writing on the composition with your blood. I, I must do it. Yeah. Yeah, he just... I mean, you're dead. You ripped open your wrist, you know. You're, you're dead. <laughs> Push your fingers deeper into the wound. Yeah. How's that going for you? Yeah, I bet. You're killing yourself. Come on, really get in there and rip out that artery. Yeah. You rip the wound wide open. Grabbing scoops of blood pouring out. Yeah. God, just... No, it can't. Sadly, you realize it can't be completed right before you die. That's unfortunately how that works. Subject D9341 found in a pool of blood next to SCP-012. Subject seems to have ripped open his wrist and written three extra lines to the composition before dying of blood loss. That's basically what that makes you do. Okay, well, we're not going to look at that again. Because apparently 049 is already around here somewhere. But that means we are back to the beginning. I don't know how 049 found his way over here, though. That's not cool. Ah, this is kind of what we wanted, though. Because one of these is useful. Yeah, we don't need the transceiver. We should probably drop that. What we got here? CP No 049, no. Alright. Um SCP 427 was created after placing a pill of SCP 500 in the input booth of an SCP 914 and using the fine setting. It displays no I can't I can't read that. No uh yeah, I can't read that word. Activity when closed, when open, a small glowing orb is visible at the center. The orb emits no radiation or energy aside from the visible spectrum. When SCP-427 is opened and exposed to biological tissue, it rapidly regenerates cellular damage, somehow is able to purge invading compounds or infections. As a standard of measure, the common cold takes 3 to 10 days to be worked through the human immune system and eventually removed. In the presence of an opened SCP-427, this timer is reduced to 2 to 4 minutes. Healing abilities are directional. So anything not in line of sight with the central orb experiences no effects. However, 
Long-term exposure produces a significant health hazard as the locket heals damage and optimizes the body's natural systems. Resistance to disease and toxins increased by 500% compared to acceptable LDSO or death rate blah 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 after a total of 10 minutes of exposure and 1,000 after 15 minutes of exposure. Muscular systems begin oh blah blah increasing strength and pain tolerance to 2 to 300% while other systems continue to optimize. Class D personnel exposed to this device for an over an hour total began mutating into shapeless mass of tissue. Convers the conversion time accelerates with continued exposure. So it's good, but it's also bad, if that makes any sense. I mean, thankfully for us, it's it's not there anyway. We, we, we can't deal with that because it's not there. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Oh, thanks for blocking him. You're, you're a peach. Oh, somebody was bleeding and went in there to get it to heal themselves. That's what I would wager. Ooh, this we need. But on the ring, mental exhaustion. Now, I believe this is going to protect us from him to a certain degree. Kind of makes us dumb, but it makes us immune to mimetic influence. I'm pretty sure. What we got here? What is this? Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. All right, well, I'm gonna go out into the hall and save it. Because he's blocking him there. Because this is another killer here. Can I carry any more items? Well, that's a shame. Let's read this bad boy. Cardiac arrest, also known as cardiopulmonary arrest or circulatory arrest, is the cessation of normal circulation of the blood due to failure of the heart to contract effectively. Medical personnel may refer to an unexpected cardiac arrest as sudden cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is different from, but may be caused by, a heart attack, where blood flow to the muscle of the heart is impaired. Arrested blood circulation prevents delivery of oxygen to the body. Lack of oxygen to the brain causes loss of consciousness, which then results in abnormal or absent breathing. Brain injury is likely if cardiac arrest goes untreated for more than five minutes. For the best chance of survival and neurological recovery, immediate and decisive treatment is imperative. Cardiac arrest is a medical emergency that, in certain situations, is potentially reversible if treated early. Unexpected cardiac arrest sometimes leads to death almost immediately. This is called sudden cardiac death. Treatment for cardiac arrest is cardiopulmonary resuscitation to provide circulatory support, followed by defibrillation if a shockable rhythm is present. So what we just picked up, uh, this, this, uh, basically wh whatever we read out of this book of common diseases is uh, we get that disease. So, the fact that we looked up cardiac arrest and didn't die is kind of confusing. Asthma. What else you got? Asthma again. More asthma. More asthma. More asthma. Okay, cool. Yeah, the fact that we're not dead yet is extremely shocking. What is this guy? Ooh, the key. Oh, you're trying to harm me. I can't carry any more items. We'll, go. we'll drop this book and grab this key. I sense the disease in you. I'm kind of surprised we're not dead yet. Maybe the book, uh, maybe the book's glitched. No, you were holding him there, 049. Now he's free to chase after us. What do we got here? Now, is this key the key I'm thinking is? No, this is the key that I... The, the other key I was thinking about. Ben Fatale. Oh, this is the... Sentient Shadows. Yeah. Well, we're definitely dead because of opening that book, so we might as well... Oh, we can't. We can't go in here? Okay. That's probably for the best. Oh, hi. Just taking the load off there? That's cool. What was that? Yep. It's it's definitely Well, I'm, I'm surprised. Oh now there's two of them. <laughs> that one has horns. That's not good. I don't like that none. What was that? Is that 
That's showing, um, the coffin now? Oh. Oh, and the door's open. How about that? Well, yeah, I'll come on in. It looks like you're having a party in there. Let me get in on some of that. I mean, sure. Oh, that dude with the... Oh, they all have horns now. Oh, oh, oh that hurt. Ow, you're killing me. You're killing me. Sentient shadow demons from hell. Get them, mannequin friend. Get them. Ow, stop. You're killing me. Yep, that hurts. Okay. This is probably for the best. Why don't you kill the mannequin? He's in here too. Okay, well, all right. Thank you. I am, I am now dead. SCP-205 cycle seems to have resumed its normal course after the anomalies observed during data redacted. The body of subject D-9341 was discovered inside the chamber. The subject exhibits signs of blunt force trauma typical for personnel who have entered the chamber when the lights are off. Good. All right. Oh, that was the key I thought we picked up, but it's not. Yep. All right. So that being said, I think that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I am Devo at Lost Time Gaming. This has been another crazy episode of uh, SCP Containment Breach in the shoes of D9341. That being said, we're, we've made enough progress to circle back to where we actually needed to be. And uh, next episode, we can make legitimate progress unless SCP-049 is going to be a real pain, which looks like he's going to. I didn't I didn't think he was going to come back this far, but he has, and he wants flash. That being said, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.